congratulations, Republican Party, for when you really need to take a stand, when you can use facts. Don't use facts. Don't do it. Run for cover. Run for those popularity points. Screw God-given rights. This red flag idea, oh, this is brilliant. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but there isn't a single thing you have to have checked in your background if you go buy a gun. You could be a two-year-old child and buy a fully automatic 50 caliber weapon today. No background checks are needed. Unless that's exactly untrue. Unless that's exactly the opposite of what actually happens in America. But don't let that bother you if you're a Republican. No, no, no. Take the bait. Go with the red flag laws. So you know if you voted for the Republicans, this is the beginning of the end of the Second Amendment. The red flag laws are the worst thing that could happen. First, it's... It's family members who say someone needs to take their guns away without due process. Well, isn't due process the thing that, you know, we were all around, uh, we're all about? Isn't that, isn't due process the thing that separates us from those countries that just kick down doors in the middle of the night? So legal gun owners can have somebody say, you know, uh, let me tell you something. Let's say you have family members in, oh, I don't know, Portland. Are you even talking to your neighbors in Portland? Or your family members in Portland? Are they even talking to you now? They have Trump derangement syndrome so deeply. They hate the fact that you even own guns in the first place. They hate the fact that you have them. They hate the fact that you don't think like them. You are one immigration argument away from them calling the feds and saying you shouldn't be allowed to own guns and should have them taken away. That's how that that's what we're really talking about. And if they're keeping list of who they think are dangerous and you have a justice Democrat in the White House, guess who's going to be on that list? Oh, I don't know. All of us. Oh, and the best part is. Once you have some cat lady, you know, shirt tail relative who drops a dime because they hate that you support Donald Trump, guess who's never going to be able to buy a gun again? Question six on the new background check asks if there's ever been a determination by a court, board, commission, or other lawful authority say that you shouldn't have a gun. You'll have to check that for the rest of your life because of the cat lady. Because someone didn't like the way you voted. Because someone who you're now divorced from, somebody in the other family that really is pissed off at you, somebody who just doesn't like the fact that you went off on immigration at Thanksgiving dinner can now call and you will never be able to have a gun again. Thank you, GOP. If you support the red flag laws... And you're a member of the GOP. I can't think of a bigger betrayal of the U.S. Constitution. Hey, now,